Next, let's have the model do the face contouring massage. First, warm up the facial lymph. To let the flow of the lymph be more smooth, we start from just before the ear, exercise some strength, and slide downward to the collarbone. Repeat three times for this motion. Next, use three of your fingers and place them in the center of the forehead, then push outward from the forehead. While pressing down, use both hands to slowly move to the temple, passing the lymph line and downward to the collarbone. Slowly, repeat this motion three times. If you are someone with a really puffy forehead, repeat five times if necessary. Next, it's the eye massage. Use your middle finger to start from the outer corner of your eye, moving along underneath and upward to the inner corner of your eye to the brow. Then, from the inside corner of your eye, move outward to the outside corner of your eye. Make sure to use proper strength accordingly. Then, starting from the inside corner of the eye, massage from underneath the eye toward the outside corner. Press lightly there. Maintain finger and skin contact, directly slide toward the temple, passing right in front of the ear, and down to the collarbone. Repeat these motions slowly for three times. Puffy eyes and under eye bags can be improved using this motion. Next, it's the corner of the mouth. This step can improve the sagging of the corner of the mouth so that you will have a killer smile. Use your fingers to press from the center, passing both sides of the mouth, reaching the underneath of your mouth, maintain your pressure. Repeat this motion three times. You can use more strength for the area underneath your nose, but your motion should be slower so the pressure can be down to your gum. The next massage portion is both sides of your nose wing, so that you can have a higher arch of your nose. Slowly massage both sides of your nose wing three times, then push towards the arch of your nose slowly and repeat about three or four times. Next is the improvement of the lines around the mouth, also known as the nasal labial folds. Place your fingers around the center of your chin, push gently toward each side, passing the corner of the mouth and along the wing of the nose, toward the inside corner of your eyes where you will press for about three seconds. Then push toward the temple and massage downward to the collarbone. Repeat this three times. When you are doing this motion, if you feel pain, adjust your pressure strength. The next step is still targeting the improvement of the lines around the mouth, or the nasal labial folds. Place one hand gently on the side of the face. Use the other hand to press toward the inside corner of the eye diagonally. At the inside corner of the eye, gently press down for three seconds. Reduce pressure, move towards the ear, passing along the lymph line and downward to the collarbone. Please repeat three times for this step. This motion will cause those who have extra stored fat on the face to feel slightly more pain when doing this motion. The strength should be kept at the level of balance between pain and comfort. Now, we will rest one hand and let the other hand do the work. Massage toward the inside corner of the eye with light pressure, pushing toward the side, passing the lymph line, and down to the collarbone. Because our model did not have the massage lotion on, the skin appears to be a bit red and irritated. If the massage cream is used, such irritation will not occur. Don't forget my advice and massage slowly. Next, we target the portion where the nasal labial folds occur. First, both hands are extended outward horizontally, 
The index finger and the middle finger are perpendicular to the wing of the nose, pushing outward until the front of the ear, passing the lymph line, and down to the collarbone. Repeat this step three times. If your strength is weak, you can use a pole or a wall so that it gives you leverage to exercise with some more strength. The next step is targeting the looseness of the cheek. This step requires more of your attention. From the chin, use the soft bottom part of your thumb to continuously push the fat upward on your face. Press for about 3 seconds. Then, push away horizontally to the ears and stroke downward to the collarbone. Repeat this step three times. However, for those people with already loose skin, feel free to do this four or five times. Push all the way upward in one motion and then push down to the collarbone. The next step will be removing the Sharpe sagging from the corner of your mouth to the ear. Just like earlier, place the soft part on the bottom of your thumb against the corner of your mouth on each side. Slightly bow down and push the muscle upward from your cheek to the ear. When you reach your ear, reduce the strength, lift up your chin slightly, and use your hand to slide from the ear to the neck and down to the collarbone. When you do this motion, those with extra stored fat on the face will still need to feel that mix between a pain and comfortable feeling. Okay, let's deal with the double chin. This will transform the double chin into a handsome small chin. Place the soft part of the bottom of your thumb at the peak of your chin and push toward the ear. Your thumb will then slide to back behind the ear. Let the chin fall and relax into the palm and slowly do this for three times. Those with bigger problems with the double chin can do this step four, five, or more times. This next step will lift up the whole face muscle. Use both thumbs around the chin and cover up the ring of the face and fold it up like you were going to call out for someone. Make sure there are almost no gaps between the hands and the skin, then use some strength to move toward the ear. Let your thumbs slide underneath the chin and slide your hands down to the collarbone. Repeat this step three times. Make sure to use more strength and have both hands in the face closely touching without a gap. Use a continuous motion toward the ear to get rid of all the stored fat on the face. Now we will use one hand to stretch the wrinkles on the forehead, from left to right, and then again from right to left. Slowly doing this vertical massage will eliminate the wrinkles on the forehead and other tiny wrinkles. Be cautious. Slowly do the massage up and down, and make sure the massage is evenly done, horizontally and vertically. Next, we will get to the last step. Place your hands in the center of the forehead, then slide down to the temple and down to the collarbone. At this moment, the Tanaka massage is now completed.